Hi, my name is Angus Robinson. I'm a product manager at the Anritsu company. And today I've bought the new MS2080 Fieldmaster Spectrum Analyzer to Crystal Palace in South London. So behind me here, we can see the famous Crystal Palace transmitter. This is transmitting radio and television signals for South London. And in fact, if we pan round in the distance, we can see the South Croydon transmitter site which also uh, carries radio signals for the South London area. So here we are by these fantastic sphinxes. I've set the spectrum analyzer up at the plinth of the sphinxes. In the background, we can see the Crystal Palace transmitter. The spectrum analyzer has got a small antenna on it, probably not ideally tuned for the frequencies we're going to be looking at, but we're so close to the transmitter, I really don't think that's going to matter. So let's start having a look at some signals. The first thing I was going to look at is the FM broadcast band. So I've set up a sweep of 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz, and we can see plenty of signals here that we can analyze. I've now gone into the FM modulation analysis mode. So here we can see the RF spectrum and all the channels that we were looking at earlier. In this window here, we're seeing the audio spectrum. So we've got the uh, mono FM, the subcarrier at 19 kilohertz, the stereo FM in this region here, and the RDS signal in this region here. If there were digital services on this transmitter, we would see some signal in this region here above 60 kilohertz but there doesn't seem to be anything on this particular transmitter and down here we're looking at the audio time domain so we're looking at the speech or music um, in the time domain there and in fact there's a little speaker so i can turn on the audio and listen to it uh, to hear what that radio station is What I'm going to do now is have a look at some digital audio broadcast. I've saved some settings in the uh, configuration tabs along the bottom of the screen. So if I just press the DAB setting and load that, we should uh, transition to the frequencies of the DAB bands. Okay, so now we're sweeping from 210 megahertz to 230 megahertz. We can see all the DAB channels here. The total span is 20 megahertz. So let's just zoom in on one of those. If I bring this one to the center and then I change the span to say um, 5 megahertz, we can see that carrier. That of course has got multiple radio stations in it but we can see the flatness of it and the bandwidth of it and make the measurements we want to make. In fact, I can look at this in uh, RTSA mode. If I select, oh sorry, if I select DAB RTSA, now we're seeing that same bit of spectrum, but in the RTSA mode, and that gives us a real-time feel for all of the activity in the digital audio broadcast band. So we've gone back into the regular spectrum analyzer mode. I'm now just going to set a stop frequency of 700 megahertz. And what we're doing now, here are the DAB signals on the left-hand side of the display. And we're seeing out to, this is actually the digital video here, and in this area here, we've got some Tetra signals around about 400 megahertz. So let's have a look at these digital TV signals. Again, I can recall the settings from memory. And what we should do now is transition to digital TV frequency settings. So here's the digital TV band. 
I've actually entered a marker at the center frequency that's defined for each of these TV bands. So if I go into the marker uh, menu and turn on the marker table, we can see the frequency of each of those digital TV transmitters. So today we've had a look at broadcast FM radio, DVB, digital video broadcast and digital audio broadcast. Lots to see here at Crystal Palace, lots that the spectrum analyzer can do to help us understand if the transmitter is working to spec and working correctly. I hope you found it really interesting. I've certainly had a lot of fun. Thank you.